hi this is money from bsc2nse.com and again this video is more about how the investors and traders actually control the price movement in the stock market and I think it will help beginners or even experienced people to kind of you know take a look at stock market as a comparison to a football field between the buyers and the sellers and I think this will give you a different way of thinking uh, it'll, it may spawn a new kind of thought process within you as a trader or an investor uh, by just watching this video so let me let me start with what I've done here I've just marked a football field so again again I think you, you uh, any, anyone who knows football can figure out that this looks more like a football field you have uh, two goal posts and then a penalty corner here or the penalty uh, uh, zone here on both the sides and the buyer B stands for buyer S stands for sellers or shorters I stands for investor similarly I here stands for the investor meaning there are always fresh investors looking to get into the market or existing investors and existing investors who are looking to book profits or exit on panics uh, so the I here is purely only existing uh, investors who are looking to exit when the market panics or during during a long term bear markets T stands for trader and traders who go short traders who go long and there are both kinds of traders there are swing traders there are always traders who are looking for only shorting opportunities and only going long opportunities or only buying opportunities and I've marked four I's here as opposed to the two T's because I believe that the investor forces in the market eventually trump that of the traders and traders always trade with very little amount of money and investors actually have more amounts of money so their forces actually define the markets in the longer perspective traders of course have their own defense zones in the short term but it it's the investors who eventually trump the traders okay and I've marked out of the field like research agencies brokers and then external news from the market so it's more like uh, people who coach there is a coach for each football team so who tries and uh, advises uh, the buyers and the sellers as to what they need to do so they basically are just uh, consultants who stand from outside and suggest the buyers and sellers and the, of course a lot of traders they look to they, or they get influenced by the outside news and the reports that the research or uh, the brokers give very few investors will have their own opinion to make their own decisions so this is how if you picture stock market as a place like a football field you will get the understanding of how the market price moves and uh, like I said uh, this is a buyers uh, penalty corner uh, or the defense areas and this is the sellers defense area now the buyers will always look to score a goal against the seller when the markets break out on the downside uh, on the upside and similarly sellers will look to score a goal against the buyers but as you can see in a football field when there are two equally matched teams um, when the sellers approach the buyers defense then the buyers defense will take control of the ball and then eventually look to counter attack and go into the sellers uh, defense area to score a goal and similarly vice versa so which is what typically is called as the support and resistance zones at whatever time frame you're looking at and I marked here at three years and put a circle here and a one year for the sellers here because in the long term cycle ours being a long term bull market the buyers will be majorly in control for a period of three years which is called the bull run and the in the last leg of the bull run they will be in total control before the sellers begin to take control which is called the bearish phase and for one year period sellers will begin to become extremely strong as opposed to the buyers and uh, uh, they will look to score goals and in fact they will uh, during a bearish phase they will uh, eventually uh, breach the defenses of the buyers or the support zones now 
again so we don't know when they will score a goal they'll approach the penalty zone or they'll approach the defense zones many times and during a barrage phase they'll often breach the defenses and score a goal and during a barrage phase sellers will uh, score more goals when they approach the support and during a bullish zone buyers will often breach the defenses of the sellers uh, during a bullish zone and score goals okay so now that you have this kind of a perspective to the price movements that happen in the market let me show you with a small little example now we are in a bearish phase in the last one year i think i made earlier videos saying that nifty has downside targets still 6300 now nifty has been constantly below the 200 day ema over the last three months most of the time below the 200 day ema which is a pretty strong uh, indication that we are in a bear market and the long term valuations is normally controlled by the nifty pe ratio and you can watch my videos on that as well if you haven't now here was a time when uh, the, the china uh, concerns came up and nifty dropped just below 7600 on the right you can see 7400 7600 these levels and you can see here around september that nifty had dropped till 7600 and rebounded wherein nifty closed below 7600 only for one day immediately the next day it rebounded and uh, closed above 7600 and then market rebounded and went up also assisted by the 50 basis point rate cut by rbi here but eventually it couldn't cross the resistance zone there was a resistance at 8300 where the sellers again kicked in hard and pushed the prices lower and again here you can see that nifty here never really closed below 7600 if you look closely or if you go into uh, if you zoom this chart you can do this personally uh, and you can see that it has never closed below 7600 every time but it 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 went below 7600 on the intraday level but it never closed below it and then immediately rebounded off here again again it came up and eventually again sellers took control and again the prices dropped but this time if you see there's a slight difference from the last two attempts that was made by the sellers to uh, breach 7600 here you can see that the daily chart uh, nifty has closed below 7600 for almost four days now and today is the fifth day and nifty has already crashed massively even though global markets have been positive so we have actually stayed below 7600 for four days now so this time the attempt is totally different it's not the same as the attempts that were made in September and in December in Jan now the attempt that is getting made is uh, totally different because we are now by sellers have now managed to keep nifty below 7600 for four consecutive days and today is the fifth day and today is also uh, nifty is below 7600 in fact it has broken below 7500 the longer it stays below 7600 the stronger the buyer seller grows and it's more like the sellers are now into the buyers uh, penalty area zone or the uh, scoring zone so the longer the sellers stay inside this box here the higher the possibility that they'll score a goal eventually so that's what is happening that happens in football as well you can see that sometimes many a time the ball comes in rapidly from the sellers box into the buyers box only to find that the buyers immediately take control and uh, push the ball across into the neutral point from where the investors look to push it to the seller's box but now you can see that the buyers defenses are getting constantly uh, peppered and the uh, sellers are actually into the box and they are now constantly stayed in this box for the last four or five days which means that they are going to mostly score a goal doesn't mean that buyers cannot push it back again but it just means that the buyers defenses have become weaker this time so that's how you should understand and you can try and understand this in this way uh, every time you look at a chart so again this has to this a software cannot do this a software cannot uh, probably tell you but when you look at the chart with your eyes you can make out such subtle differences in the way that the price movement is happening so 
I hope this video has helped and I hope I hope I didn't make it too long so uh, that's it for now uh, any questions any queries post on this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and you can join our trading group to join us you can go to bsc2nse.com and uh, there's a link to join our trading group by joining us in Zeroda. and uh, that's it for now thank you bye bye